Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. previous class uh, we were discussed discussing most about addition of your pi system uh, with your carbonyl okay we saw that uh, your carbonyl can add to your pi system to form a oxytane and uh, then we said that <coughs> the reaction most of the time depends upon your alkene also if it is an electron rich alkene then your reactions become it becomes it is not stereo specific it does not go become it does not be a stereo specific and it is also not regio specific. But on the other hand if you take an alkene which is electron deficient then the reaction becomes stereo specific as well as regio specific and we found out the reason for that and we ca did some examples based on that. Now, today in this class what we will do, we will do some in, that is intramolecular pattern of Bucci reaction. Previously, we were explaining about intermolecular addition to pi system to alkene uh, which you call as pattern of Bucci. In this class, we will be dealing with intramolecular pattern of Bucci reaction. So, the idea of doing many examples is basically to understand how important is that reaction and uh, like it can be used for many synthetic applications. You can make molecules which have like really good applications that is the idea of making this seeing lot of examples. So, we will take the first example in this case. We will take a ketone which has an inbuilt alkene, okay. We have a systems like this. Now I fertilize this. So, what happens? You know that it goes to S1, uh, S1 that is your singlet, first singlet excited state. Since it is aliphatic ketone, you can see chemistry happening from your singlet as well as it can undergo an intersystem crossing to give you triplet right. So, how this triplet radical then looks like? So, I can draw a system. This should be my T 1 right. Uh, so, what this can do now? What type of an alkene it is? Yeah, if we consider R as a methyl, okay. so it should be an electron rich alkene. Right? So, what chemistry then we are going to expect from this? So, the reaction is not much regio specific. Right? So, can we think about reactions then? If I am getting a radical of I get this type of thing I can redraw. So, I can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right. One way is that your O dot <coughs> can add to your carbon C 6 right that you can think about one possibility. So, if it happens then what you get? So, 
So I get the system like this. What is this? Yeah, again now you are talking about di radicals. So you know about now di radical how it behaves most of the time. Yeah, you are familiar with this. So what one four di radical does in this case? It can undergo nice cyclization. Yeah? I can get a product like this or you can say in other way since it is not that much specific you can say that sir my O dot can also add to my <coughs> carbon 5 right. It can also this then what happens in that case. I get a species like radical like this. Yeah, my O dot is missing, right? My O, yeah. O, yeah. So this is one phi di radical. So again, it can easily recombine. Right? So you get a type of cyclization. at a system like this okay or you can symmetrically if you want you can write it nicely right other way of looking that molecule So, you can think of getting two products by just intramolecular pattern of Bucci reaction. Yeah, one methyl group where that methyl group should be the bridge one. Right? Yes, that is good. So, you get this is the simplest intramolecular pattern of Bucci reaction. Okay? Now, we will take another example and see example where like how we See, I am taking this molecule and fertilizing that in acetone. Okay, in acetone, I am doing the photolysis. So, what you can think about? Yes, it goes to S1, then undergoes an intersystem crossing, that is fine. So, you get a triplet uh, radical, how that looks? S1, I can say ISC. So, gives you O dot fine. So, now I can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is 6. So, where you want uh, your reaction to be? You have C5 and you have C4 and you have C6. Where you want that O dot to add up or abstract an electron? See, if I going to take from C5, okay, then I will push this this to form me a C4 me radical, right? Other way, other way around, if I go for C4, then I have to make a radical in C5, which you look to be very odd, no? it is not simple. So, in that case I might get only one product, 
Okay, so I might end up with taking from C4. If I get it from C4, then C. So even I can nicely form a. So, I you can have a methyl here. See, if I do this way, okay, I am going to attach with C4, then I will get a radical here. Okay, that is not you do not want. Eh? That is why I just did in C5 and created a radical in C4. That looks to be stable. Fine. You, you do other way around. If I push this, then I have to push my radical. That is on your double bond, which you do not want. Eh? So, this is again what? 1, 3 di radical. Look at this. It is clear. Okay. See that uh, again I am saying this is the question, uh, this was question again I asked in that previous semester and this is the only product I got, but unfortunately this is not the product. What happens? Any idea? Huh? Yeah, see I have used my solvent acetone. Okay. And you think about this guy, the excitation of this ketone is same like the excitation of your acetone also. So, acetone can also excite ne? and once it excites then they can make a another pattern of Bucci reaction across your this double bond. So, acetone can react now. So, you can see two types of intramolecular either. One is intramolecular, another is intermolecular. You see both pattern of Bucci, intra as well as inter. So, do not stop in one product okay? and see that as a, because you have acetone, you know acetone can be excited, that can also do an intermolecular. So, it is inter. So, you have an example where you have both intra as well as inter. Any doubt? Okay. This type of compounds you have seen many, we I use many of the examples this type of compounds. Um, okay. See without double bond we have seen examples, what happens if you have a ketone without this double bond? Uh, we have seen nice examples. Uh, have you seen alpha cleavage? You have seen one more nice thing. Yeah, you can see nice intramolecular hydrogen abstraction if I do not have a double bond, right? That example. So, if I insert a double bond, then you see what happens. It becomes like a type of pattern of Bucci. Hmm? See this type of cyclization gives you a very good stereo, stereo specific product uh, because of the ring cyclization and the rigidity of the system. It gives you a nice one product. So, how you get it? 
<coughs> this word or okay you want to there are two choices here so one i can write 2 3 4 5 6 7 so you want to take 1 7 or 1 6 1 7 see if i am going to take 1 6 for example okay then i am creating a radical in 7 position so i can add my 2 and 7 to make a bicyclic system right see that's how you think about if I do in other way, it will be a 6 and 5 membered. This will be 6 membered. So, that is much more easier, right? I get a system like this if I do. See, the best thing of this, the this is the product you get very fixed epoxide on the top of this thing okay it cannot go in other way around and if you do in if you put lithium aluminum hydride lah into this what do you get huh? you get an alcohol uh, Like this, like you can end up with a very stereo specific products, you are seeing your pattern of which reaction. See, these reactions are uh, most of the time are 90 percentage, okay, 90 to 80 percentage yield. So, you have to just take your compound okay, and uh, just fertilize, just keep it in the apparatus, fertilizers apparatus, you end up with this product. Hmm? Yeah, because of the rigidity of the molecule, otherwise the epoxide cannot come otherwise. Okay, if it is a simple molecule which is not going to cyclize, then you do not. I will give you one more example where you understand. Okay. We will take the second example where you can really understand this. Okay. I am taking another example of the same time. So this will tell you how your methyl should be when a cyclization of your two six member ring happens the methyl should be in which way <coughs> that will explain you why the stereochemistry of this reaction. Hmm? So, now if you do this photolysis yeah you know that it goes the system. Sorry, I can it is an extension, it is a natural product. Yes, now we want this. <coughs> I we are pretty well now sure that it should be forming a six and six member ring. Fine. And your this methyl <coughs> should be which position? When you have a two system cyclic system, yeah. See, that's why the the formation of epoxy. See, I can. Always you get a system like this, na right? methyl. See, so this is why it fixes up the stereochemistry. When you open up, now I get my epoxy in this direction only. Okay. And then if I put HI,
this type of products you get nicely. These are very good examples of pattern of Bucci. Uh, you can think of building up molecules. Okay. Like uh, same like your, you do an aldol and you do your uh, Robinson annulations to bring your cyclic systems, right. So, pattern of Bucci reaction sometimes most of, yeah, sometimes people call that it is equivalent to your aldol, okay, this type of reaction. You can make C-C bond formation very easily. You have many examples where pattern of Bucci reactions are considered to be equivalent to aldol reactions. Now, we will try this example, I want like you guys try hmm, without seeing the board. So, it is more about how you visualize the molecules. You can have a methyl here, okay. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. Yes, you have a system like this. See, it is a type of a linear molecule, right? They can always bend around. Hmm? Uh, so, you can now write by yourself what what is the product you are expecting of. I do the photolysis in presence of methanol, okay, in methanol solvent. I take methanol as a solvent for this to carry out the photolysis. Yeah, you know that it goes to S1, I see that is fine. get this. Now, how you think, because it has to come to the alkene, right? You are thinking about an intramolecular pattern of Bucci. Just can you visualize the molecule, that is more important. How you can bend this? Right, you can write this in a simple way like this. Now, you can do your um, <coughs> addition, how you want to do it, because like I can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Where you want to do? You want your O dot to add across C 11 or C 10? C 10 because you are going to create a radical isopropyl type of radical secondary line, which is much more stable. So, if you do that then what you get? and I get a radical. Now, what happens? You know that this radical should combine with this radical, right? 
so just draw it. So, I get a type of strain 1. Okay. Now, what happens? Any idea? Can I isolate this product, this type of products? So, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What happens? Because you have a solvent methanol, na? so can it do anything? What do you think methanol can do? Come on, guys. Can I methanol heat here to open this ring? So I can generate OME with hydrogen here. not possible because just you want to open a ring right just think about like opening a epoxy or this i am just opening i can take my methanol heat here then i can open up the ring right so if you get then what you end up with this product. So, finally, if you see the product, it looks nice. The way it has gone, if I do in methanol, that is the product you get. See, you have to, uh, this is how you can make molecules. That is why I am saying, like you have different applications where you can think of. I think the carb numbers are fine, 10 and 10, yes, okay. Hmm? This type of examples, if you start working on, it tells many good things okay, to see molecules how they are. Finished. Huh? We will take another good example. Have you ever studied this example? Like uh, you photolyze this, <coughs> and after that, after photolysis, treat it with palladium just by heating. Your first step is photolysis, okay. Second step, you can do it by palladium in heat. I think you have studied this reaction. What it gives? If you take this product and if you, yeah, first you do your normal pattern of butching, then think about what you are getting. So, if you do pattern of butching, what, what you are going to end up? So, if you fertilize, yes, I am doing all these things again for you. I got my O dot. Okay. Get a system like this. Okay, you call one, two, three, four, five, and six. So two ways I can think about O dot attach reacting with my C six, okay, or O dot with my C five. Right? If it is with C six, okay, then what you get? Right. 
there are type of six member ring with a radical and one four di radical right c six yeah sorry it should be other way around I should get this, this is fine. Um, uh, other way around product, if I go for C5, what do you get? Can you think about that one? That will be a little bit interesting. If I take my C5 one. See basically I am writing all the plausible products okay and uh, see the possible I will tell you what is the product it gives finally. If it is C 5 okay. I got a five member ring okay, with a radical. Hmm? This you can get this product. Then you can combine this radical can I get this? Now, this is one of the product and you get another product which is in 6 member. If I put palladium to this, the type of aromatization, right? heat sorry, type of aromatization I am doing. So, what I you think of uh, going to end up? So, you can do the same reaction with your 7 member also, 7 member is nice to get instead of 6 membered. Huh? Yeah, so you think of some type of aromatization happening. If it is a sour, okay, uh, then if see same example if I do with this is 6 member, right? If I do with 7 member, then just think of 7 member instead of 6 member. Okay. So, if it is 7 member what do you think? I will just give a clue like if I am doing the same reaction in 7 member. I get this is type of product. Um, What is this? You get nice azulines. Okay. See, I have just did an example with the six member. Okay. If I start with seven member, nicely you end up with azulines. Very good synthesis for azulines. So, nothing you have to do. See, mechanistic wise, yes, you have to do radicals and everything. But uh, reaction wise, what you are going to you, you are going to take the seven member ketone with an alkene, just you are going to fertilize for 5 hours or 6 hours, you take the product out, then put palladium and heat it, you end up with your resilience. Clear. So, that is why I say Patano Bucci has many synthetic utilities, you can take it for making good molecules.
fine. Say so I can move just I am giving an example of 6 member, I can take for 8 member like that, that time you have to do by yourself. Six member you do not get an aromatization that type of thing. Only if you go for seven member you end up with azelaine. Six member you get both of the cycloprolex, addition prolex. Once you move to seven member, yes, you get azelaine nicely. Then the whole reaction is dominated only by your five member, C5 ring. Okay? That becomes the driving force. You get only one product in that case. See right now I am not uh, confusing you with the, which is the major product. Okay? Right now I want you to write all the possible products, that is the more important part. Once you know what are the possible products I can write, then it is nice to figure out at the end which will be the major and this. So initially if you find out like this is the major, this will not go and that will create some problem. So first write down all the po possible products. Okay? Then once we see the product and the radical stability, we can keep on deciding which is much more better than other when it forms a reaction, fine. You see normally these questions are asked lot of time in CSR, this, this particular examples. You can see this example, most of the time what people do is that people never think about this norborin system, immediately they do this alpha cleavage and all these things. Okay. Uh, so, this type of system is asked. So, I have seen the same example. So, when you do the photolysis of this. Yeah, you know S1 because it's type of an aldehyde, so inter system crossing is allowed. So, that is why I am saying today you are doing intramolecular pattern of Bucci, you are very clear that this is where the double bond reacts. Otherwise, what happens? You try to pick hydrogen abstraction. Mostly people who, are, who know they try to do hydrogen abstraction very fast. Okay, they will put like 1, 2, 3 gamma hydrogen abstraction and they finish off. Mm? So, little bit. And if it is an acetone, yes, you can start thinking about gamma hydrogen abstraction also taking place in the reaction. Same example we are tried with gamma hydrogen abstraction. I did the same example, but that case the double bond was missing. Hmm? So, be careful when you do. Now, you know because of, uh, so you are going to end up this radical one. Now, what happens? This two radicals can recombine. Yeah, it is a very strange type of ring, but just write the product and think how it again breaks up. making a ring like this which is like really strange right uh, but you can you can relax it little bit so uh, if i use little bit of any lithium aluminum hydride because it's type of epoxy i can cleave it yeah, i can end up with an alcohol because you have you know norborneal type of alcohols are also important so if i use lithium aluminum hydride what what do you think so this eventually breaks up epoxy to give you an oh and other things will be nice
get a type of reduction. I will be happy if you can think of uh, other products from this as an uh, I have not given you assignment I will start giving an assignment you can think other way around can you think about other products in this case same thinking about in pattern of butchy angle hmm? not now you can just work on hmm, later there is you can get another type of product also in this reaction if you keep on thinking. See, I am picking some examples which are already there in some exams, okay, some competitive exams. I am also taking that examples so that you can work that also. Hmm? It will be useful for you when you go for some exams, like mostly like CSAR and other exams, where you get this type of examples a lot. Hmm? Norboring type of systems where you have an there you get lot of examples like this. So, I am just taking that type of example some. So, what product you are going to expect in this. Yeah, you get a first just try to write that di radical. So, once you start writing like this molecule, then this double bond you know that does not eventually come into the picture. Okay. I can forget this double bond now. So, if someone asks what is the major product for this, yeah, you can write two products, fine. What will be the major product if that question comes, then you have to be a little bit thinking na no? yeah, first we will write try to write both the products huh? and see which will be the major if i do my c6 i get this one which is 1 2 3 4 di radical other way around if I want to do ok 1 2 3 4 5 1 5 di radical. So, I have a system where I have 1 4 di radical and 1 5 di radical. So, get this product in this case. This can be, yeah, it can it's just epoxides a little bit later around the metal. Yes. So I can get this type of molecules, right? Yeah, you just add this, then you can just invert your epoxy up and down. So what you think is which will be dominating product or which will be measure? So I have like one and two, okay. 
two or one? One. one. Two. Uh, two. Okay. Guess for two. Why? Yours? This, yeah, you go with the stability of radical. Na? Yeah, that's good. That's what I want to see. Okay, it's nothing wrong. See, in this case, you go with the radical, sir. I say that I get a secondary radical, type of tertiary radical, right? Here it is type of a primary radical. So, if I see with respect to radical, this to be much more stable, and it is again a one-four di radical which I can cyclize. The one he thinks about Balvin rules, okay. That is also possible. Na? So the here only you get like this system. I see right now why I'm I just want to get your mind that there are systems like um, where you can see in this case two is the major product, okay. One doesn't form. But uh, don't worry, uh, those who have with the one I will explain you in next class where we are going to see addition to pi systems okay where in detail i will talk about balvin's rule uh, 5 rule 5 is there which you take only your fifth carbon uh, so there are many rules okay that time i will take this example and you i will discuss you in detail why it happens but right now it's product 2 which gets it hmm? but we are going to see because i want to talk the rule that example but whatever you said right now you are thinking is wrong it's not wrong that's right Yes, what do you think it happens? You have a ketone? Yes, you can excite it. Yes, when then? How many people say it goes pattern of Bucci reaction? How many people say that it does not go pattern of Bucci? Like intramolecular cycle addition. Get a radical like this. It can be the seven, eight member that is mm, possible to do a pattern of Bucci. Why you are so much confused? You cannot do? Huh? Yeah, it is see that is why it is really possible and you get one major product in this case. And the product is, <coughs> yeah, draw the product which you know. <coughs> so, 
So what product I can draw? Can you draw the product? Right in a butchi. That's what I say. Please draw the product. Are you going to draw like this? Are you going to draw something like this? Now, if you want to draw pattern of Bucci, right? Yeah, this is our same, others are same. Something you want to draw like this? Are you sure? Or can I say that after doing this reaction, okay? I get only this product. Which you think will be the right? Sir, it forms like this, then breaks up, or it forms directly like this. Nice example to discuss. So, if you are going to do pattern of Bucci, I should get product like this, right? Uh, then you think this is a stain type of ring, that is why I am going to cleave one of this bond and get my hydrogen, then uh, it abstracts hydrogen from the solvent to give me the product or nay nice, sir, it will go like this, then it will abstract an hydrogen. I am not going to make this ring. Any idea? So, it is a very good example in that sense. Can you give a thought about this? In next class, can we discuss on this part? Huh? Can you come out and tell us, sir, this goes only this way? Or you can come out with some other product also and tell me this is a product. I think it is feasible. Hmm? It is a very good system in that to do a pattern of Gucci. I have a ketone with an alkene. Hmm? This is 7 member, this can be 7 or 8, whatever it is. Uh, can you think about the right product? Fine. Hmm? So, we'll, so, what, uh, so uh, I will just finish off uh, with some words. So, we have seen carbonyl chemistry, uh, we have discussed completely about alpha cleavage, uh, sorry, cleavage reactions, then we discussed about hydrogen abstraction reactions and then we discussed about addition to pi system. Okay. Next uh, class that is in one hour, I will be covering you the next two reactions which are simple that is uh, intra energy transfer and electron transfer reactions. Okay. Once that is over then we are finished with our n pi star reactivity, then we will go to pi pi star reactivity. Okay. So, with n pi star reactivity, then we have an exam based on n pi star reactivity, fine. So, with that we will end this class.